a centuries-old Quran from Central Asia, still in pristine condition. 700 volumes of Quranic manuscripts from China and Southeast Asia make the collection at Qatar's National Library one of the largest of its kind. Behind the books, the headquarters of a project to track stolen artifacts. So Himaya, we launched that project uh, in 2020 with uh, uh, Interpol and the World Custom Organization and the International Federation of Libraries to insist on the fact that uh, manuscripts are also suffering from trafficking and it's, it is a disaster. So uh, everybody speaks always about archaeology, but we forget the manuscripts. Stefan and his colleagues recently discovered people allegedly linked to the former government who were trying to sell an ancient Quran for more than $1 million. I immediately contacted uh, Interpol and asked to, to act. So it was not so easy because actually the, the theft was never declared to the police in Kabul. So officially they could not have action. Then it's more complicated because uh, restitution is more difficult because of the political situation in Afghanistan. And it's not an isolated case. Uh, in the se this year, we finally between five and ten manuscripts on sale in various countries. Members of the Taliban guard Afghanistan's National Museum these days, protecting what's left of the collections. Some historical sites have withstood years of different powers fighting for control of Afghanistan. The Taq Zafar, or Arch of Victory in Pagman, is more than 100 years old. After years of wars and conflict, much of Afghanistan's historic heritage has been destroyed. Unlike last time they were in power, the Taliban say they will protect and preserve what belongs to all Afghans. A stark contrast to the group's destruction of Buddhist heritage when it came to power in the 1990s. Mili Museum, uh, Mili Gallery. We are protecting the National Archive, Museum, Gallery, Library and other important places. The historical artifacts of Afghanistan should be preserved. Customs agents were stationed at the airports and we managed to intercept a lot of artifacts that were being smuggled and they were taken to the museum. But returning stolen antiquities isn't that simple. Western countries don't have diplomatic relations with Afghanistan today, so they don't want to restitute something and they don't recognize the, the current government, so they, they use that as an excuse. Uh, very often also it's difficult to find the legitimate owner. Uh, in the case I'm mentioning for Afghanistan, we have all the evidences, so at least we know where it, it should be restituted. And until the Taliban and international organizations work together, more Afghan heritage is likely to disappear or go under the hammer. Osama bin Javed Al-Dazira, Kabul.